can you keep up with the pace of market regulatory reform? MarketsReformWiki.com, the place to keep up. How did your experience at Google prepare you to become CTO of TT? I was a product manager at Google, and, and that role there is kind of like a, uh, a CTO of, of a very small product organization. Uh, you're given nearly complete freedom on the vision of your product, and if it's something that already exists on, on the new features that you're going to introduce, uh, you're required to uh, know the, the state of the art in whatever technologies apply and impact your, your product. Uh, and so it's really um, from all steps of the way, uh, marketing, you're the evangelist of the product. So in a lot of ways, it, it mirrors the role of a CTO just in a much smaller scope. How does the environment at Google compare to that of TT? They both uh, foster a, uh, a flexible work environment. Um, you're not necessarily required to work nine to five. They both really allow uh, engineers and the other employees to work when they're most effective and how they're most effective. And I think in a lot of ways, uh, they, they both really foster a sense of ownership and pride in, in the products that you're creating. What is your agenda at TT? The space has seen a lot of change in the last few years. Uh, for instance, uh, mobile computing has, has really become a viable option. Uh, people trust the technology, uh, the advent of server-side execution, proximity-based execution has really moved the demands away from the front end. And, and so it's just ripe for innovation in, in a lot of ways, not just mobile computing. Um, so my goal is to sort of take a step back, look at our products, look at TT's products, uh, look at potential areas where we can continue to innovate Mobile computing is just one. Uh, recently we launched the Algo Design Lab, or ADL, uh, which is, uh, in our belief, uh, really a paradigm shift in, in this industry. It allows people to design low latency trading strategies without having to write code. So really democratizing uh, trading algorithm development. TT is known for futures trading. What other asset classes are you looking into? I would say nothing is off the table. Um, we have no proposed timelines, but we're, we're always looking at, at uh, asset classes for which technologies like ADL and our server-side execution platforms um, are a good fit. How has ticket trading developed now that TT has integrated ADL? I think the biggest source of change with ADL uh, is the exposure to three dozen exchanges. You may remember at Ticket we were connected only to the CME family of exchanges. Uh, every, every exchange brings its own nuances and, and different behaviors and functionality. Uh, and we wanted to give people the ability to trade across all of these in, a, in the XTrader platform and be able to fully leverage all of these different nuances uh, within the different exchanges. The integration with XTrader, which, which is really one of the areas where this, this shines and should not be underestimated, is, is uh, another big uh, change. Uh, being able to design a trading strategy and then have it embedded in the XTrader experience um, is, is really going to be a game changer as well. How are customers responding to the product? Feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. We were in a uh, fairly long beta period, uh, just shy of a year before going into production, uh, and our beta customers were trading shops of all shapes and sizes. We had uh, individuals who had no programming experience, and we've had fairly large shops that had uh, dedicated development staffs, and across the board that it's really been embraced by all. Uh, the, the individual traders, of course, now are able to be on the same playing field as, as those firms that have developers. And the firms that already had engineers on staff were really able to focus on implementing ideas as opposed to really worrying about the implementation details and the, the typical pitfalls and, and problems that, that are a result of designing code the old-fashioned way. Um, so that's, that's really the, the, the strength for these uh, engineers that are using the product. They can focus strictly on implementing ideas without having to <coughs> worry about all of the, uh, uh, like I said, all the pitfalls in the traditional way of, of doing it. How is TT educating and supporting customers in terms of ADL? 
In addition to our online support forum, uh, videos that we have online, and our global support staff, uh, we also have embedded in the product a tutorial system that allows us to really guide uh, the user through building strategies, learning the different uh, facets of, of the product. And instead of just watching a video of someone else doing it, it really allows them to have hands-on experience and, and we kind of hold their hand along the way. Um, we're pretty excited about this because it's a, it's, a, it's a fairly new way of learning and we're seeing a lot of great feedback. Um, it, it's it's uh, one thing that we're really excited and we really think is going to help uh, educate our, our users and, and help uh, lower the learning curve. Do you see products like ADL shortening the life cycle of algorithmic strategies? I do, and, and I actually I think what you're going to see is uh, a lot more tinkering. Uh, in the old world, uh, the, the speed with which you could get a, an application up and running uh, was usually, in, 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 obviously it varies, but usually in days or weeks time frame. Uh, and so what that means is if, if there's something you want to tinker with, whether you want to change some of the settings or maybe change some of the nuances of your strategy, uh, the, the life cycle to implement those changes, have it in a way that you feel safe turning it on in a production environment and actually deploying it, um, that, that lengthy period really uh, inhibits uh, uh, tinkering. Uh, we, we really feel that a uh, tool like ADL, it really encourages that sort of tinkering because uh, people can uh, quickly uh, adjust the trading strategies. If they want to try something out, they can do so in a matter of minutes and have it deployed all seamlessly. Um, so we really see that as uh, giving traders uh, a better tool with which to experiment and to do so in a much safer environment. When did you fall in love with technology? I can actually uh, narrow that down probably to, to the month and year. Uh, I was in, uh, I believe it was sixth grade, uh, a, a friend brought in a TI-83 calculator and showed me that there was an actual programming language in it. Uh, and I spent <clears throat> about a week learning how to program in this very simplistic basic language it was called. Uh, it made some, some stupid little games that were guessing games and allowed the user to sort of pick a number and the computer would try to guess what the number was. Uh, then I realized that uh, a much more, uh, uh, a much larger version of this language was on my computer at home and uh, I played hooky for about a week uh, building uh, these computer programs and that, that sort of at a young age really uh, uh, made me fall in love with not, not just programming but also technology in general.